Good evening, everyone. Can you guys hear me? Yes. All right, awesome. Um, I identify as Munah Jesus, so I'm just Munah Jesus tonight. Um, I actually work at Access, and this museum is actually a part of our home here at Access. I am the public health manager, and today is a very special night for us. We decided to partner with um, Dearborn Open Mic. Um, to bring to you guys a collaboration about Rhyme Against Addiction. Um, the program that I oversee at Access is the ASAP Community Coalition. And what we do is we uh, bring community awareness around substance use and mental health. And we also work with our youth inside the schools in Dearborn and Dearborn Heights um, for the kids to be, become our peers, to peer support and be advocates in their schools. The goal of these programs are not only just to have these events and to talk to people, but we really are trying to bring change into the community. Um, I was born and raised in Dearborn. Dearborn is my home. I'm actually a resident of Dearborn Heights as well, but my heart and soul is in Dearborn. Um, the reason why this work came together is because young adults are um, unfortunately losing their lives at a younger and younger age to overdose deaths. And we really want to shine on the souls that they, we have lost over the years. We really want people to understand that mental health is real. It's very important to not only take care of your physical health, but your emotional and mental health. And we really want people to know that we at Access are here for you. And we really want everyone to know that you are not alone. And you can, be, and you can come to Access for any type of resources that you need when it comes to substance use and mental health. And other, and of course, Access has a million other programs, but for us tonight, we really are focusing on mental health and substance use. Um, I don't stand here just as someone who runs a program and does my job. My work is very important to me, and it's very, it comes from a place of passion. I actually left what you can consider private sector America, corporate America, because I went to school to work in the healthcare industry. And I came back to my home in the sense of I came back to Access that has been a part of me from the first day I started life. I am a baby of Access and it means a lot to my family as my father was a part of Access in the beginning of the 70s when there was a lot of discrimination against Arab Americans and people did not understand why Access needed to exist. My father advocated for that. Um, at the age of 12, so I don't know what the age group here, but imagine being 12 years old and realizing something's wrong with one of your brothers. My brother has struggled with substance use and mental health since I was 12. He was 17 years old when he first started abusing drugs. He actually was what you can hear about every single day in the news. He got in a car accident, he was given prescription drugs, and the doctor said no more. But no one gave him help after that. No one told him what to do or how to get help. And he struggled for many, many years in and out of rehab, in and out of recovery. Um, he has two wonderful kids that he left behind because in 2019, addiction took his life. So my work comes from a place of passion. My work comes from a place of heart. I really want people to know that you are not alone because we never left him alone, but it was his time to go and God was calling him. So we, as much as I understand that, and I have very close faith to my religion, that it was his time I do want young adults to understand that one pill can kill you and one time can hurt you and you are not alone with anything when it comes to any type of anxiety, stress, life choices, just know that there's someone there that's helping you. So you might not look at your schools and take them seriously, you might not take your parents seriously when they talk to you that they're worried about you and they want to make sure that you're, you're okay, but I promise you being asked are you okay means is, is something that not everybody gets. Not everybody has someone to ask about them, not, anyone, not everybody has a family that loves them, and not everybody comes and lives in a community like it is here in Dearborn. I don't think a lot of people realize how blessed we are in Dearborn and Dearborn Heights. We have a lot of communities that are there for each other, people care about each other, and people love each other. So I just hope that, you know, from the work that I do and the years that I bring into this community, that I leave something behind because I am a mother of two young boys and I want them to have a better future than the one that I have. So thank you guys so much for coming out tonight. Spread the word. You can join our coalition. It's open up to the public. We really are here to create change and for people to understand that at Access, your family, when you walk in our doors, we're here to help you guys. Thank you.